Plus my headphones are on, but I was tight. Alright guys, welcome to season 23. And, uh, <clears throat> unfortunately I didn't get my Day of the Dragon out as uh, soon as I would like. But, um, this is uh, me finishing my paddling uh, dragon um, deck. Uh, I was going to give you guys a different concept and an idea, and I was like, you know what? I, I, I focused so much on Reno Jackson, and then with the Druid, is it like a ramp deck? I was like, let's give him a little bit of aggro deck. So, <clears throat> this is a really, um, actually, I saw the concept uh, um, online from, from uh, I don't know who, which, what his username is. I'm going to start trying to write it down when I get a deck so I can give him credit. But basically, um, he had a good idea and a concept. I actually put a little twist to it. I took out about four or five cards and put in cards that I think would make the deck better. Like, there's a Leopard Gnome in there. There's like a, he had like a, ten dragons in there, and they're all six and below. And then he had like a Leopard Gnome and like two other cards that like, it's like, wait, why is that in there? Like, there's no reason for the card to be in there. So I, I put a little, uh, G-Man touch on it, and, uh, not G-Man touch. Hopefully that's a shirt one day. That'd be tight. Um, and, uh, and this is what I got. So I'm gonna get my deck tracker going next game, and you guys will be able to see the makeup of the deck. But uh, until then, I'll just tell you guys what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and why I'm doing it. Hopefully we can have a good run. Maybe I can give you guys like a, a five-game series with this deck and go 5-0. and oh, Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, once I finish this, I'll, I'll get this, uh, get the Day of the Dragon out the first week. I'm a little behind. I uh, had a lot of stuff to do this last couple weeks. Um, I'm pregnant. Having twins. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not pregnant. Not yet, but whatever. I'm joking. We didn't get that. I have a sense of humor. Okay. So I got here. I so I put Harrison Jones as one of the cards I did put in there. I'm really glad I made that choice. I'm up against a warrior right now, especially. And I put Echo and Yuz in there as well. I'm really glad I made that choice because um, reason being is he had two blessing of kings in there, as well as, uh, as well as another card that's a buff. And on turn six. To be able to summon two five sixes with the Echo and Ooze is so freaking ridiculously awesome. Turn six, summoning two five sixes. That's freaking awesome. Echo, Echo. Um, yeah. Alright, here we go. I also put this legendary in there as well. I have the cards, might as well do it. Oh yeah, he was running two Arcane Golems. Um, if I'm going to run charge cards, it's going to be one Arcane Golem. I don't like giving my opponent a Mana Crystal, unless I'm like a Face Hunter. And Paddleon's not a Face Hunter. Um, he can do aggro, but... So, um, put this card instead of one of the Arcane Golems. Because look at, as you can already see, if he doesn't do a board clear, I can summon him next turn the Garmic. McCormick Dump Heller. But you know, I, I thought this card sucked at first, but it actually is really good for. I've only used them for Zoo Warlock decks, but it's actually a good card. Because it, it's a it's a 4 4 that deals 4 damage, and you can pick where it's distributed. It's a bolster deck. Okay. So, he, um, in my opinion, um, let's see here. In my opinion. Um, so, let's go ahead and clear this guy. So, we'll do this, and then we'll sack our 3 1 into it. So bam, so bam, and that's that. Cleared his bolster, dude, and this guy's in a lot of trouble. And it's already turn, it's only turn eight, and he's a warrior. I'm happy with uh, my choices, and uh, we're doing good. Um, I think this game's over, and uh, that just shows you the strength of the deck that he's made. So he's going to put up a little last fight left. Um, and I'm not like, oh, wow, this is like a freaking, like, I mean, I'm at rank 20, but the season just ended. So I'll be able to tell this deck is really, really good when I get, get upper, like, um, higher up the ranks. He chooses death. Good choice, bro. All right. Um, all right, we're 1-0. Sweet. All right, so basically, hopefully, we got four more games to go. Hopefully, so this is, 
It's like, I guess you would call it like a mid-range aggro deck, but I'm going to go ahead and get my deck tractor going. I'll be right back. All right, guys. This is actually a great starting hand. I'm just going to keep it. So my draw card cards, you always want to have cards that draw cards or a spell that gives you cards or whatever. I have Blood Mage Thalos, Hammer of Wrath, two Azure Drakes, and a Harrison Jones. So I have four cards that no matter what will guarantee me giving me cards. Harrison Jones is a maybe because, for instance, Mage doesn't have weapons, so I can't get the durability of his weapon to draw cards. So, However, if he has that mech that gives him a weapon, that's the only other case. Or if he uses a unstable portal and it gives him a guy that gives him a weapon. Besides that, um, I think the two Azure Drakes, the Blood Mage, and the Hammer of Wrath is a good like uh, tempo of drawing cards. Considering the fact that my more, majority of my decks are 4 and 5 drops, so they're like a mid-range strong cards. Um, I, I like this deck. I could if I want to. I could run 2 equalities. I, I don't want to. I just want to run 1 because I'm rushing my opponent usually, usually. So you don't really need to run 2 equalities unless you're like a late game paddle. Ooh, your opponent draws a card. So what type of deck is he? I don't know. It's a good question. Um, I'm lagging right now. Okay, that's why. My deck tracker is coming up. Alright. There we go. Okay, that is, um, not the deck, but almost the deck. I have to modify it. So, I'm going to coin out, um, this dragon. I'm going to hit him in the face. I love this dragon card. I love this dragon card because, um, I might put two, I only have one in them in the deck right now, because uh, the ability to um, uh, stay alive, like it's such an early, it's such a uh, great card to drop early, because the, they can't use frost bolts on it or any spells. Yikes. Um, let's see here, what do we want to do? Let's hammer wrath him, because like I just said, he can't use spells, so he can't use his hero power to clear that guy. <clears throat> Alright, we're doing good, in my opinion. I like my options. Um, the, also, the gentleman that made this deck was running two of these. I don't really think you need two of them. I decided to run some other things. Alright, so, we can go ahead and clear this guy. This is why this is so good. The Corruptor, I love that card. I think this is a perfect deck to show you guys in the end the, um, paddling, um, series with. Um, such a good card, Corruptor, an aggro deck. It's perfect. This next week, I'm going to be doing, I think I just said I'm going to do Mage and Shaman. Now, um, i got two brothers that play Hearthstone. My other, um, one of them I, uh, I live locally with, and uh, I've asked him to, um, if he wants to join me, and uh, hopefully he, he does. Um, he might be showcasing a couple videos if he decides he wants to help me. But uh, if not, you're just going to get whatever I give you guys, um, and hopefully you guys like it. And I want to get to a point where my channel, where I get um, discussions and topics being brought up, and I'll do like a topic of the week or something. But and oh, oh yes, I do want to say this: if you're listening and watching my video, I have yet to announce it in a video. Um, the the uh, 25th subscriber of my channel, which I'm not going to tell you how many I have, will get a gift card from me. Um, so I've yet to announce that. I've announced it on my channel board, but when you don't have too many people. I don't have as many people as I would like right now going on my channel. And so uh, if you have any friends that play Hearthstone, or you yourself could subscribe right now, and I will let you know if you're the winner. And uh, I will uh, I will definitely in I will announce who the winner is when it happens, so, so you guys know I'm not like uh, like pulling your chain, I guess you could say. So we're going to go ahead and summon Muster Battle, and then uh, Korrick, then Peller. We get the effect? No, we can't get the effect yet. Okay. Let's do a Dragon Consort, and then we'll hit him in the face with a weapon. So yeah, guys, uh, that's a cool thing. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll put it at the end of the video or something, but um, yeah, that's a little incentive. Um, and I trust me, if you want to learn how to be better at this game, I do think I have some good advice and, and some knowledge and skill um, that you could maybe learn from that you might not learn from a different other pro. I'm not a pro yet, but. Um, I think the only reason why I'm not is because I, I don't have the time right now. I, I have to work, and um, I don't make a living doing this right now, so I have to do other things. 
So let's go ahead and do uh, this guy, and then let's use our corruptor actually and do six damage to his face. Such a sick combo. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Look at that, guys. That's so good. So next turn, if he can't clear the board, which he might have a flame strike, we'll throw out this guy, and he'll be a nine nine for four drop. Isn't that sick? Four drop nine nine. If well, we have to get him under fifteen health. <clears throat> that's so awesome. I've never used this guy. Except for the Hunter Dragon deck. I don't know if we can do it next turn, though. No, we can with the Consecration. <coughs> <coughs> Nine more. Oh, you know what? I know why this guy was running it. Actually, I give him props now. He gets the Battle Cry effect twice, so it would become a 12 12. Oh. I got it. I'm going to give this guy credit, man. Uh, that's actually really smart. Huh. I didn't even think of that. See, when you think you know it all, you don't. It's, um... Wow. Yeah, I didn't think of that. That's cool. Interesting. A 12-12. So typically it's 6 mana. Your opponent has to be under 15. So if you get the battle cry effect with the brawn summon, it becomes a 12 12. Holy crap, dude. I didn't even think of that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's sweet. Alright, is this guy like a freaking freeze mage? If so. Um. I hate freeze mages. Let's do it. Let's taunt up. Let's Azure Drake out. And let's uh, move forward. <clears throat> Alright, next turn we'll throw out the oozes. Now, um, little little uh, note to self. And I always forget my own advice sometimes. If you're playing up against a freeze mage, don't fill up your board. Don't lock yourself up with seven minions or creatures. That's what your opponent wants you to do. Then he'll throw out a Doomsayer. You can't throw out a card that would help clear it. Um, so don't lock yourself up. You only have six or five minions and keep cards in your hand. Um, that's what your, your opponent sometimes wants you to do, guys. And it's happened to me so many times, and I've lost a lot of games because of that. Okie dokes. Okay, so he... That could be like a Mary Danny or like an Ice Bear. Let's find out. Ice Bear. Okay. Let's do a uh, Echoing News. And then I'm not gonna, um... <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm not gonna, um... I'm gonna keep Gork the Impaler just in case he freezes me up again and puts out a Doomsayer. And then I have the Gork the Impaler and then uh, a Consecration with my Azure Drakes to clear his uh, Doomsayer. So uh, I don't want to lock up the board. And I think, I, I don't know, I, uh, that's what I think, what type of deck he is. I'm not quite sure, though. Because I have lethal next turn if he can't freeze me up. Or flame strike me. Yeah, I think that's game, guys. Right on. Sweet. Uh, is it, it's his uh, ice block or ice barrier again. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. <clears throat> Ice Bear. Okay, so knowing it's an ice block, given the information that I've been given in the sense of like knowing, if you had lethal, you want to give him down as low as you can. Like, uh, you want to give him to like one or two rather than like. Hitting him right now, if I, if he was at 6 and I hit him with like a, a guy with a 7-7, seven, seven, that's the worst thing you could do because it keeps him at 6. You want to get him to the lowest you can when he's running an ice block. He's like a fatigue freeze mage. I don't know what he is, but he lost. That's what he what, what happened. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. 
Brooks, Cohen, Ice Bear, Ice Bear. Okay. Um, let's keep our weapon alive in case he does have a Doomslayer still. There we go. So we locked him out. Okay, that's it. That's GG unless he can use something crazy right now like summon a dragon. That would be that puts him at 15 would be his best choice. I mean option if he had it. Besides that, that's uh that's game. Sweet. All right, we're 2-0. So this should be pr pretty easy, guys. I should go 5-0, but you know, um what happens is you come across uh someone that just start the season over again and they're they're just as good as me and have you know, should be at rank 10 or below, and uh, you lose. But uh, for the most part, I should be able easily to get just wins and rank up. Yeah and uh, yeah so yeah once I, once again I'll, I'll I'll advertise it one more time, gift card for the I think you said what twenty fifth subscriber I do have an app that will tell me if you guys are like doing duplicates usernames so I want to do that but uh yeah and then um, basically as long as you're okay with giving me your mailing information I will mail it out to you personally or uh, maybe we could do a transaction where I do it like through PayPal and I'll, you can get it electronically. You have a problem? Well, I'll give it to the next person that subscribes then. Or the person before. I'll have to make that decision. No, it would be the person after. But who doesn't like free things? I, I don't know. Okie dokes. All right, we uh, just uh, given the information that we know, we might be up against like a face hunter. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Actually, I'm gonna run the technician. I don't want to take another um, <clears throat> board of the face with uh, using my weapon. Now, <clears throat> I'm running the tech. Oh shoot! I just made a, I just made a mistake. Oh well, I was running the technician because uh, I was like, oh, from his battle cry, he gets a uh, plus one, plus one, and wouldn't kill my guy, but uh, it most certainly did right now. Um, if he's clearing my board and trying to do board control, no, he's not. All right, let's use Consecration and clear this guy. Or we could do this, um, run the Blessing of Kings. I'm going to do Consecration, actually. I need to um, race him, especially if he's a face hunter where I'm ra I'm like trying to beat a face hunter. And then I need to taunt up as soon as I can. But I need to be very careful how I use that Guardian because I think he's my only taunt. Um, so this could be an interesting game. I don't know if I can race a face hunter or not. But I do have a strong deck. Uh, okay, there's there's a secret. So let's see here. It's probably most likely explosive trap. Um, so don't summon your mustard of battle until you uh, find out. Okay, what is it? I don't even know what it is. Hmm. Okay, well, it could be a snipe. It could be um, a uh, you know what people are running a lot, and I'm actually not gonna do it. Is uh, when you use your hero power. Well, you know what? It, it does five damage randomly, so I have a twenty percent chance to hit my face if it is a dart, whatever it's called. It's not. Okay, cool. All right. Well, then that means either it's a snake trap or a snipe. Most likely it's a snake trap. It's a good card to run because it gives you a three one one snake. Scavenging hyena. Haha. <laughs> it's probably a snake trap. And yeah, dude, that's the freaking card to run with that combination. Dude, that's such a sick combo. Look how big he's gonna get this guy. This sucks, man. This is bullcrap. You serious? That's how I'm gonna lose, is crap like that, dude. He just made a freaking. Give me my quality right now, please. Wow, dude, that sucks. Really bad. Um. 
that's bull crap, dude. All right, let's uh let's uh, run blessing kings and then um hopefully not take twelve to the face, which I think we're gonna get right now, which sucks. Um, that's okay. That's how you lose a game, and that's just bad luck. Hit unleash the unleash the hounds and scavenging hyena after I summon a muster to battle and use my girl power. That's just uh, there's nothing you can do about that. It is what it is. Um, that's just uh, the cards not going your way. <clears throat> He's getting the right cards. You're using the right cards that make his combination perfect. All right. So let's see how we can do this. Hmm. Hmm. Said the wise man. Okay. Well, I'm trying to see if I could get out of this at all. I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, that's GG, guys. I lost the game, fair and square. It was a good combo. He, he played that right. Uh, there's, like I said, I'm not mad at myself. He just got the right cards that he had, um, given the circumstances. And, and, and he had the cards, and he, and he played it when he should have. And um, th To me, that doesn't... Um, Discredit your deck whatsoever. It's just, uh, it's just that that's just uh, bad luck. It's like, uh, it's like if you're playing poker and you have like four kings and the guy just happens to river you and he had four aces. It just, it is what it is. Like you played it right. Like it's no big deal. And if you don't know what that means, well, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of another analogy. Okay, so since we're up against the Druid, uh, don't run Harrison Jones, and uh, we'll look for dragons since we are, we're going to hold the Guardian. Alright. Okay, so given the fact that he's some of the Living Roots, he could be an aggro deck, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to have my turn. Point out my technician next turn. Okay. All right. So he could be an aggro deck. I'm not sure, guys. I uh, really am not. So we'll point it out. Um, and then next turn we'll use our muster battle and clear those little saps. Unless he does a power of wild on me. Oh yeah, I'm running a C join in here, and I might take that out. But you know what? It could work. You know, I I haven't decided yet. But you know what? I think it's not working as much as I thought it would. So I might take it out. I'm gonna clear his harvest golem. I don't like those cards. Those cards are really good, actually, guys. It's three drop. It's a two three with a death rattle of two one. Basically, it's like a almost like a, for a three mana you get like a two three like a four five. Like a Yeti, but it has a, it's just, Harvest Golem is a good card. It's a great free drop. Like, if you don't have a lot of, it's like you're new to this game, like, it's a pretty common card that you'll get. Like, it's a really good card to run a lot. When you don't have, like, uh, like, other, like, really good free drops. The Game Hunter is a great free drop. And that's one of the best four drops, in my opinion, the Pilot Shredder. So this guy looks like he's a mid-range um, Druid, so that means he's running two Savage Roars and the, um, what are those, I always forget the name of it, two, the six drop, it's two, two, three, two, two charge cards. Um, let's go ahead and use Consecration, clear Shredder, and basically, uh, we need to use our Guardian when he gets closer to, uh, I'm not going to drop my Guardian until, uh, closer to turn, like, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Because basically, um, I think that's the way he's going to kill me is through a burst. He needs to get me to like um, 15 health or something. Now I do have one true silver champion. I might take out the sea giant and put in an additional true silver silver champion. Great card. It's like a charge card almost in itself, but um, you get health too. 
You get basically you get eight damage out of it from four health. It's a good card. So in turn six we'll do our echoing ooze. So this next turn we'll use our corruptor. Uh, yeah, let's use our corruptor on the raptor. See if we can clear this with our weapon. Oh crap! Thing's got wind fury. Do we want to take three of the face? I really don't, to be honest with you. Um, I think he's uh, mid range, so he's going to be looking for cards. Um, and he right now he has no draw cards, to my knowledge. Um, he's dropped every card he's gotten. I don't know what he would be, but he's also if you, you always got to keep an eye on this. He's um, dropped different cards every single time, meaning could be a Reno Jackson deck, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But, hopefully what you've learned this week from me, guys, is you can run duplicates with Reno Jax. So that's all going to change when everyone else starts doing that. Soul Forest. Okay, so he's like a, he's like an aggro deck. Okay, that's fine. Give me a little bit more knowledge. <clears throat> Yikes, Soul Forest, dude. So, but he has to sack his 1-2s into me to get that effect. There's no reason for me to do it right now. So I'm going to just uh, answer back with my echoing news, but my echoing news is in 1-2, it's a 5-6. So uh, I like my cards better than his. We just caught up with him and he's rushing me, so uh, that's good. Next turn, if I want to, I can then clear him with my Consecration or use my weapon. Might even taunt up next turn and then finish him off. I like my oozes better than your oozes. <clears throat> it might be a swipe. No, it's a silence. Okie dokes. So since they're one twos, I'm gonna taunt up next turn, and he would have to sack all those guys into my guardian. Savage roar. Wow, called that one. Three. Well, oh, that's twelve. He doesn't have enough. Ah, you messed up, homeboy. boy. That was premature. He shouldn't have done that that turn, guys. He should have waited one more turn with the Keeper of Grove, and he would have lethal. I didn't think he was going to run a Savage War anymore. Um, so I'm going to taunt up this turn. <clears throat> and basically, uh, I think because he made that mistake, I'm going to win, actually. Um, I'm actually going to clear this. Because he, he has to sack all his dudes into me. to um, Unless he has a Silence. But even a, no, a silence would kill me, guys. Now, I, I, if he has an Iron B Gal in his hand, I'm dead. Iron B Gal, and then you 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 do your hero power. See now, um, I'm gonna run my uh, weapon next turn. So um, the, now that will clear my guy, my taunt. But uh, it's gonna cl uh, kill all these guys. But then he's gonna get a uh, little two two dude summon because he does a soul force. I'm not out of the um I'm not out of like a danger zone yet. But I think Okay, so let me calculate this. Okay, if he does sack all of his guys into me, he he has to make a choice right now. I think I I think I have this game. Three, five, six, eleven. Yeah, I have game. It's over. He doesn't even know yet. So, no, there's nothing he did wrong. He played his deck the way it was supposed to be played. I just, uh, I won. Just, whether my deck's better or whatever. I played mine better. I don't know. The, the, the mistake he made that game was he played, should have played a Savage Roar at the turn after. He, he didn't calculate it. I don't know if he, tr like, always try to calculate. Oh, that he played that right. Hmm. Okay, I have eight. So, I can run my weapon and my Consecration. So, yeah, this game's over. Over, over. All right, so we're uh, what? What are we? What are we, guys? Three and one. After this win, counting without this win, I'm two and one. With this win, which I am getting right now. All right, sorry, dude. All right, perfect. Now we're three and one. Okay, cool. So one more win, and hey, four and one's not bad. You gotta get those streaks if you want to rank up, because I was. 2-0 and I lost, so it was almost streaking up, so I just need to win two more. Start my streak. Alright, I'm going to get my deck tracker going so you guys can finally see.